and piece by piece of the evidence just falls out. This witness, you can't find them. This witness changes their testimony. And the next thing you know, no charges are brought up. All right, we get back to sports when we get back. Back in three minutes. The number one chief rocket jersey firm. Lonely Hearts Cafe. Spicy conversations. It's Vince Wright, the sports governor from Minnesota. Man, Dally Young. Microwave. Reggie Long, aka Dollars and Cents. Give it to you. Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Imagine if your business could interchange skilled engineering and technology professionals as easily as changing a high-end car part. When one highly trained, skilled employee left the firm due to growth, dismissals, maternity leave, or retirement, anything like that, you can replace them with another that fits their position perfectly. Just like that. Your automotive, manufacturing, financial, or healthcare business is running again like nobody ever left. Now, people aren't parts, obviously, but a resource that allowed you to always hire the exact type of highly skilled employee you needed could lower your costs significantly. How? Simple. Hiring and training new employees is expensive. Losing a trained employee because they didn't fit your corporate culture is also expensive. If you always found the right people, you can lower costs and increase productivity significantly. That's exactly what Seek Recruiting does. Contact Seek Recruiting today, 888-991-5833. Once again, that's 888-991-5833 to contact Seek today. Ever wonder how you can make six figures without an Ivy League education? Have you ever wondered why you're not getting the callbacks for jobs after you've worked so hard to get that degree? Or why your career path isn't going the way you want it? Have you been confused on what major or professional field to choose? Six Figures by 30 provides a five-step career plan and gives tips on best practices for building a strategic resume, negotiating, interviewing, managing salary jumps, avoiding career killers, landing promotions, and much more. This book is designed to be your career compass that will reduce detours and propel you to six-figure success. This book has created the secret sauce your career stew needs to get on the fast track to six figures. In reading this book, expect to develop a clear six-figure career plan, customized for you and your professional field. You'll learn how to develop a standout resume using the proper keywords and phrases in your industry to catch the recruiter's eye. You'll also learn ways to navigate salary increases, interview do's and don'ts, managing your brand, navigating job or career changes, and much more. Why gamble with no plan? Bet on your success. The first step is believing. You can do it, and the next step is cracking this book open and getting started. Don't waste another day procrastinating. Purchase on Amazon or by going to the website, sixfiguresby30.com. That's the number six, figures by the number 30.com. Sixfiguresby30.com. Right about now. Welcome back to the Doug Stewart Show podcast. Man Talk Monday. Hey, you can call the show if you'd like, 404-382-0338. You can also email me at Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Giving out ballers and busters uh, from this weekend in the world of sports and entertainment and beyond. Uh, I gave it earlier, but I need to do it officially. Bust award to Terrence Williams after fumbling a 47-yard game <laughs> uh, this past uh, evening for the Dallas Cowboys. This is the same Terrence Williams, wide receiver for the Cowboys. This is the same Terrence Williams, man, that uh, that blew that end of the game situation a couple of weeks ago where he didn't run out of bounds. He just can't get right. He like that dude from life. He can't get right. <laughs> he can't get right. Yeah. Uh, baller award to my man Lamar 
Action Jackson. Yeah. Does it again. This man threw for 400. Now, it is against Marshall. It is against Marshall, but it was at Marshall. And remember, Marshall is one of those sneaky teams. They always give West Virginia kind of like a, a uh, rival of theirs. They always give West Virginia a hard way to go. As far as the um, FBS teams, you know, the second-tier teams in college football, Marshall's like one of the better teams. 59-28, to 28, Louisville destroys Marshall. At Marshall, Lamar Jackson, 24 for 44, 417 yards, passes for five touchdowns, and runs for another two. Baller award to their young man. Wow. Damn. I mean, what is that? He's got to have, like, accounted for, like, 20 touchdowns at this point. Um, just another phenomenal weekend. But next week, next week is pretty much their national championship. Next week, Louisville takes on the Clemson Tigers. Yeah. I mean, let me look at Louisville's schedule. And uh, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Now, they go to Clemson, and then they have Duke. Speaking of which, ball award to Duke getting a big win over Notre Dame this weekend. Then they go to Duke. They play North Carolina State. All, all of their games after this Clemson game, uh, they should win. I, I guess, uh, well, they play Houston later on down the, down the road. Uh, they're at Houston. They play at home against Duke. Outside of that, it's a wrap. They play Kentucky, Wake Forest, Boston College, Virginia, North Carolina State. So um, this is a big game. They go to Clemson, and they go to Houston. So if they get past Clemson at Death Valley, then they should be able to handle their business against Houston. Um, kind of torn because I love the Jackson kid, but from South Carolina, I want to see the Clemson Tigers, Deshaun Watson, do the damn thing. So I'm actually going to be rooting against them this weekend. Um, but either way, man, I mean, if Clemson loses this game, then it's not that much of a loss because I, I really, really am rooting for this kid, man. And you know, if you're new to the show and you're listening to the Doug Stewart show, I uh, – I always root for these quote-unquote dual-threat quarterbacks. And most of the time, they're black quarterbacks because I feel like that they don't get the same opportunities or the same treatment that other quarterbacks get. Um, speaking of dual quarterbacks, Georgia need to get them a dual quarterback. <laughs> they need to get them a dual-threat quarterback. We'll talk about that here in a second. But So I want to see this kid be successful. Um, the closest thing to Mike Vick that I've seen since Mike Vick uh, but that's going to be a great game this weekend. We've had a bunch of great games every weekend of this early college football season. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Ball award to Carson Wentz, man. I mean, incredible. Wentz threw for 301 yards and two touchdowns on 23 of 31 passing uh, this past weekend. Just I mean, against the Steelers. Now, you, you could you could make an argument earlier. They had, a, what, a win against Cleveland, and they beat somebody else, the, else that was very mediocre. I can't even remember who it was right now. But you beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. You beat the Pittsburgh Steelers, synonymous with great defense, okay? And I mean handily. They didn't just beat Pittsburgh. They kicked Pittsburgh's ass. And I know we got a lot of Steeler fans in the, in the chat <laughs> and listening to the show. That wasn't a good look if you're a Steeler fan, to let a rookie just carve you up like that. Now, speaking of that rookie and carving people up, man, um, I, 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 can't, I can't front. Uh, a lot of people were telling me about this Wentz kid, my man Vince uh, from Minnesota, the governor of Sports Talk in Minnesota, uh, John Fisher, the microwave, patty cake, patty wake, patty cake, microwave. <laughs> we're telling me about Carson Wentz and the Eagles were going to do all these things. The Eagles are undefeated. And they clearly look like the cream of the crop in the NFC East. And Carson Wentz, just like Dak Prescott, looks like a 10-year pro out there. I mean, and I'm not I'm not embellishing about this at all. Like, I haven't seen him make a bad throw. I haven't seen him or Dak Prescott make a bad read. Now, it is early. So, so I got to throw that disclaimer out there. I got to temper my thoughts. But I don't see, like, they've thrown the kitchen sink at these kids. 
Like, they're doing all these exotic blitz schemes at Dak and Carson Wentz, but they're handling it like it's not nothing, and that's the most important thing. You know, Dak hadn't been able to get the ball into the end zone until late in the game last night. He had had three games where he hadn't thrown a touchdown. But forget the stats, okay? The stats are good already by themselves. Watch them play, okay? Watch where they go with the football. Watch how quick they dissect the defense. Watch how how succinct they are delivering the football, you know? I haven't seen either of these quarterbacks make a bad throw, man, uh, since the season started. They look phenomenal. Ball award to them once again. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me grab a call. We got a call on the line. Caller, thanks for calling the Doug Stewart Show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? Doug Stewart, it's your boy, Dollars and Cents, man, the number one Steelers fan, brother. Dollars and Cents. Man, what do you have to say about your Pittsburgh Steelers, bro? Hey, first off, I want to be known as that caller that, that I don't hide, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, right. We got our ass kicked. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, now, did you even did, did you see that coming? I mean, you'd been obviously watching Philadelphia and have seen and heard about what uh, Carson Wentz is doing, but I couldn't have picked that in a million years. Doug, I was talking more ish than a toilet seat, man. <laughs> I was talking all kinds of ish, trying to bet everybody on that game. Luckily, nobody bet me. Hey, man, they look bad, top to bottom. Ben, Big Ben looked horrible. Antonio had 140, but, you know, we got outplayed, outcoached, out everything, and it's not top to bottom. I'm embarrassed, and I can't believe they got beat that bad. That's what I'm shocked. Yeah. Three points? Yeah, that's – the best offense in football? Come on. Right. That was crazy, and uh, it wasn't one of Ben Roethlisberger's best games. He overthrew uh, Antonio Brown, like overshot him a lot. Uh, so, so, before I let you go, let me just get your thoughts. Do you think that this yeah. Carson Wentz thing is for real or for fake? Uh, this dude is legit. He is legit. And what's interesting is, is that being from Cleveland but a Steelers fan, it's crazy how the Browns stocked another quarterback draft. And this guy is going to be legit. And uh, I know they need to fix their damn defense, the Steelers-wise, or else. Woo. So, man, I appreciate it, my brother. It's always a pleasure. Love you guys, man. Talk to you soon, Doug. Yeah, I appreciate the call. That's my man, Dollars and Cents, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Um yeah, that's the other side of the story. That's the other side of the story. The other part of the story is the Cleveland Browns passed up <laughs> on Carson Wentz. Now, I keep saying it's early, okay, but there's no indication, there's no indicators that say that this is going to stop. Um, this, this dude looks like that this is just another day at the office at, uh, at North Dakota State or wherever the hell he played at. Um, he looks that good out there. And the Browns do not have a quarterback. The Browns have already been through two quarterbacks this year. The Browns brought in RG3, and RG3 is done for like 10 weeks. And the Browns have gone through like, what, 25 quarterbacks in the last 10 years? That stat they always throw out. And it looks like they may have messed this up again. The Browns. Brown Stadium is, is obviously built on an Indian burial ground. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Like, I want somebody. We got a caller calling right now. We got somebody on the line right now. If you can, you know, call back when we get back from the break. I want to get your thoughts, man. Um, I want to hear somebody that says what we're watching from Carson Wentz isn't going to last. You understand what I'm saying? And, and, and give me some type of reasoning on why. You have seen quarterbacks start out hot um, and, guess I guess, kind of come back to life back to reality to a degree. You wouldn't say they're bad or they stink. But in this particular case, man, I don't see any reason why. And, and it looks like Philadelphia knew what they were talking about. Ball award to Doug Peterson as well, who's coaching great. He is coaching and calling a great offensive game plan as well. They're putting this kid in a lot of great situations, man, where he's making easy throws. For him and his talent, his arm talent, he is making safe throws. More balls and busters. We'll read some of your chat when we get back from the break. Don't go away. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Hello, everyone. This is Grandma Eunice. I want Olufa come on and listen. 
to my grandson from the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Help me keep this boy out of trouble. Come on, cook with the microwave on Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Grandma Eunice, bye-bye.